Yo, what is going on? This is Philip Jean Marie, aka Max Cooper. I'm actually here at the Power Morphicon and I wanted to show you my wonderful helmet. Um, I also wanted to uh, shout out everyone who watched uh, Power Rangers Wild Force and even the, the old fans and the new fans. I um, also want to let you guys know, uh, shout out to Tiger Tales. It's an audio storytelling uh, channel on YouTube. Uh, make sure to go ahead and like and subscribe. And also wanted to let you know, uh, you know, if uh, you're going through some issues in life, remember three words, never give up. All right? So I hope everyone is doing well. Love you a lot. Peace. Hello everybody and welcome to Tiger Tales, a place you'll find stories and fan fictions written and read to you by your host, me, Ty Tiger. Today we're diving back into Albedo 10,000. In the world of Ben 10, in this specific storyline, Ben 10 dies just round about in the Alien Force era when he first gets uh, meets Vilgax once again. Vilgax manages to kill him. Vilgax then goes back to his home planet and reigns supreme. And now he's conquering the galaxy one portion at a time until he reaches Earth, using Earth as the last stand, the last battle, as the cherry on top of the cake for him. Well, there's one person in particular that can wield the Omnitrix and help out, and that being Albedo. Now, Albedo gets given the proper Omnitrix that Benten gets in Omniverse, and gets a deal with Azimuth. If he uses the Omnitrix to help stop Vilgax, then he gets turned back to normal. Sounds like a pretty good deal, right? Hmm. Maybe not. Let's see and find out, shall we? Albedo 10,000. Chapter 5. Helping Hex. Part 1. Albedo walked into one of the rooms in the plumber's base and found Asma stood on one of the consoles contemplating something. Aw, what's wrong, Asma? Finally growing too old. Are you going insane? Aw, I'm going to have to put you down. Like a lost puppy, Albedo said sarcastically. No, we have a problem. And Albedo, thankfully, we have you to help, Asma replied with a grin. I thought the deal was I helped with Vilgax invading, and you set me free. Which, by the way, I have to remind you about, apparently, Albedo growled. Trust me, everything we have to do with Vilgax will happen. We have you contributing, nevertheless. That day you're talking about is on the horizon. You will, you will save the Earth. Asmuth snapped back. Albedo rolled his eyes, then sighed. Fine, Asmuth. What can I do for you today? Albedo grunted for his clenched teeth. We need you to go with Daisy and find Hex, and convince him to join us. Asmuth told him. The warlock? Really? Ugh, goddammit. Albedo sighed. Daisy's waiting for you by the ship, Asmuth told him. Fine, Albedo muttered. Then he left Asmuth and headed to the ship and found Daisy sat there reading a book. Hello, Albedo, Daisy sighed. Are you ready to go? Albedo asked bluntly. Sure, Daisy said, shrugging her shoulders. She stuffed her book into her side bag and they both climbed aboard and then the ship started and flew off and headed for Germany. They arrived in the Germany plumber base. They both walked off the ship and walked out and headed into the closest town. You are pretty quiet on the ship, Albedo stated. We aren't friends. Why would I delve in small talk? Daisy snapped. Ouch, Albedo growled. We work together, yes, but me and the rest of the team don't trust you, Daisy barked. I have saved you guys, saved civilians, and I ain't planning on destroying any of you anytime soon. Albedo barked. Oh, please, you tried to kill Ben back in the day. Daisy snapped to him. Only to reform back to my magnificent Galvin form, Albedo muttered. Well, short stuff, guess your plan failed, didn't it? Daisy barked. Then they walked into a magic store, but found the room empty. Great, now what? Albedo moaned. Let's check the back, Daisy suggested. Both of them walked out of the main store and entered the back of the building to find a man stood there in front of a large window, holding a big wooden staff. Your hex, Daisy announced. Funny. The sign outside says closed. And I don't remember inviting visitors. 
Hex grunted. We need your help, Daisy replied. Hex spun around and aimed his staff, and a bolt of purple lightning shot from the top of the staff and hit the floor in front of the duo. No need for that, Albedo growled. You look like Tennyson, Hex grunted. Sadly, yes. Now, are you going to help us or not? Albedo barked. No. Leave now. Hex grunted. He raised his staff and several of the boxes that were stacked to one side of the room floated into the air and flew out the duo. Both of them jumped back, dodging the boxes. Albedo pressed his fingers against the Omnitrix and the holographic ring appeared and it started cycling through his choices. Albedo chose his alien and slammed his hand on the Omnitrix as the center popped out. Then in a flash of red, Albedo transformed. Snero! The mummy alien called out. Snero's fingers shot out, extending across the room and wrapped around Hex's staff. There was a bolt of lightning from his staff which destroyed the wraps. Snero then shot out his extended wraps which wrapped around a beam on the ceiling and he pulled himself into the air. Then he let go of the beam and fell down onto Hex, throwing his fist at Hex, hitting him right in the face. Daisy threw out her hands and muttered a spell. Then several bolts of purple lightning rippled to life and flew at Hex, hitting him several times. Snarrow entwined his fingers and pelted Hex with both fists. Hex then growled and swung his staff, an energy wave rippled from the staff, which knocked both Daisy and Snarrow off their feet. Snero jumped to his feet, then in a flash of red he turned back into Albedo. He quickly picked his next alien and slammed his hand on the Omnitrix, and in the flash of red, Albedo turned into Swampfire. Swampfire! Swampfire called out. Swampfire punched the ground and roots exploded from the ground and wrapped around Hex. The roots pulling Hex to the ground, pinning him. Daisy bolted and dropped one knee on Hex, her hand raised with a bolt of blue flame in her hand. Just pack it in! Daisy barked. Fine. Hex sighed. Good, Daisy said, lowering her hand, the flame dissipating. Then she saw Hex's chest. His coat was now open. His skin was rippling with black energy. What the hell is going on here, Hex? Daisy asked. It's a death curse. Hex grunted. The roots retracted back into the ground and swamp fire trumped back into Albedo. Daisy pulled Hex to his feet and Hex grunted in pain. Um, somebody want to incite the magic information to the noob over here? What do you mean by death curse? Albedo asked. I am going to die, Hex said stubbornly. But there's always a cure for this sort of things, though, right? Daisy asked. Yes, but to do that, I need a sample of DNA from a close loved one, a relative. And all I have left is my niece. Hex sighed. Charmcast has not been seen in a long time, Daisy replied. She is in Ledger Domain, Hex said sadly. Daisy looked at Albedo and then back at Hex. We can bring Charmcaster back, I'll help you with the spell, and then you help us. Daisy snapped. And help you how? Hex asked. Vilgax is coming with an army, wiping out every planet as he goes. We need every defense we have. The plumbers think you're good. Albedo explained. Hex took a long, deep breath in and exhaled slowly. Then he ran his hand over the black, cursed veins of his skin. Fine, I'll help you. You bring Charmcaster to me, and we'll do the spell. Then I'm all yours, Hex said sternly. Albedo rolled his eyes. Looks like we're going to Ledger Domain, Albedo chirped sarcastically. Thank you everybody for listening to this video and checking out the stories. Of course, there are plenty more where that came from. I encourage you to check out the rest of this channel where you'll find more storylines for you to delve into. But there's even more than that. If you check out the description down below, you will find a whole array of different Tiger Tales channels. Each Tiger Tales channel is made for a specific purpose and hosts a whole array of different types of storylines. So, I encourage you to check out the other Tiger Tales channels and delve into a massive amount of storytelling by myself and the Tiger Tales partners. If you have enjoyed yourself today, then please subscribe to the channel as it does show your support. Now, of course, the whole reason why I'm doing this is because I'm passionate about story writing and storytelling. And, of course, you should dive into what you are passionate about as well. So, 
I shall end this video with roll with passion. That before we can. <laughs> Don't touch my Pringles. <laughs> Bye.